Hi guys, this is Dan from the Investment ABC and in this video I want to explain what quantitative easing and quantitative tightening is and how they are affecting asset prices. I prepared a little drawing here but before you start watching this video I recommend to watch my Fed Funds Rate video because there I explain the Fed balance sheet in depth. So, but now we start with the quantitative easing here and you can see here the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve. On the left side are the assets and on the right side are the liabilities of the Fed. The Fed holds mainly uh, securities like T-bills, long-term government bonds or mortgage-backed securities as assets. They also hold a little bit of gold and foreign currencies. Their liabilities are mainly dollar notes created so far by the Fed, dollar notes outstanding and the reserves they hold for the commercial banks. The equity is just the assets minus the liabilities. So that's the equity because the Fed is a private entity. And um, yeah, uh, what happens now is uh, when during QE, when the, the Fed is creating new money out of thin air and they go into the securities or bond market and they buy just assets with the with the new created money and uh, swap it to to the asset side of the federal reserve so what just happens is the new created money is going to the to the sellers account while the securities are going to the asset sides here of the federal reserve so with every time the Federal Reserve is uh, printing new money, the assets and the liability sides, both sides, are increasing. And like this, the, the, uh, the securities held by the Federal Reserve is getting more and more and more. And on the other hand, the, money, the fresh money deposited into the, uh, into the bank account of the seller is um, boosting the economy because the commercial banks um, who, who hold the money who they they loan it out to the public and therefore are able to boost also the economy by making credit more available the first persons receiving the credit spent it and someone else's income is rising like this making him more credit worthy he can go out now and borrow more money since his income increased People who can sell their asset prices for millions now go out and spend the money on luxury items, restaurants, cars, phones and even and more stuff. This creates a cycle which makes a lot of people who own assets or businesses happy for a while. The Fed is distorting the bond market by buying these long-term assets and therefore increasing their prices. Since bond, bond prices and the yields are negative correlated, the yields of these long-term bonds are decreasing. With the help of QE, the Fed increased its balance sheet from $870 billion in August 2007 to its peak in January 2015 of around $4.5 trillion. That is a five-fold increase of its balance sheet in only seven and a half years. Now, if you paid attention to what I said, all the dollars created here is finding its way into the economy by banks lending more money out to the public or corporations. Even the corporations themselves can issue bonds and sell it into the market to the Fed. Corporations took a lot uh, of this cheap money and bought their own stocks back inflating the stock market prices like this. Investors borrowed cheap money and bought properties which they normally couldn't afford and driving up property prices to unsustainable levels. The Fed um, knew that at some point they had to reduce their balance sheet again and exactly this reduction of the balance sheet is what quantitative tightening is. It is exactly the opposite of QE. The Fed is selling now its long-term assets back into the markets. Investors, banks or corporations buying these long-term assets send money to the Fed and the Fed is sending the assets to these entities. When the Fed receives the money, it destroys it in a similar way it created it before. The money came out of thin air and it also vanishes into thin air and decreasing the Fed's balance sheet like this. So if we can trust the numbers and balance sheet of the Fed and if they don't do any other off-balance purchases of assets, what has normally to happen is that bond yields have to surge slowly back up and making credit more expensive. This will lead to a drain of liquidity from the economy and to falling stock prices and property prices. 
And this is exactly the case so far. In 2018, almost all assets declined and if the Fed continues its balance sheet reduction, prices might decline even further in 2019. I hope you understand now how QE and QT work and what they do to asset prices. And how the Federal Reserve saved the banks during the financial crisis by providing them with a lot of liquidity and at the same time taking over their bad loans into their assets. Uh, um, we will see if the Federal Reserve can unwind their balance sheet like planned or if they have to go at some point back to quantitative easing. Don't forget guys, we are we are really hooked to this to all the stimulus and liquidity and uh, like never before in history. So it will be in incredibly difficult for the Fed to to uh, unwind the balance sheet. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share it. Thanks a lot guys. See you. Bye.